In the last two exercises, you implemented default and custom item renders for the Spark data group container. In this video, you will apply the same custom item render to two Spark list-based controls. Keep in mind as you watch this video that the item render was originally created for a container but is being applied to two controls. This should illustrate to you the power of the Spark component architecture. This is the application that you created in the last exercise. You can see that the data group container displays each of the data items using an item renderer that defines a gray background with a gray border. Back in the code, I am locating the data group container and replacing the opening and closing tags with the list control. When I save the file and run the application, you can see that the application doesn't look much different except that you can see the list controls border around all the data items. Now I will apply the same item render to the combo box control. I am replacing the list tag with the combo box tags. When I save the file and then run the application and then click on the control, you can see all the data listed in the renderer. However, when I click on one of the list items, then the combo box displays the words object object because the control doesn't know which of the data properties to display. I'm adding a label field property to the combo box instance with a value of last name. I'm also adding a width property with a value of 125. When I save the file and run the application again and select an employee from the list, you can see that the last name is appropriately displayed when I select an item. Notice that the employees are not centered in the list. Back in Flash Builder, I am opening the employee item renderer MXML file from the components package. Within the opening border container tags, I'm adding the bottom left and right properties, setting all their values to five. I'm saving the file and running the application. When I click on the drop-down list, you can see the employee data is now centered within the combo box control. For your next step, work through the exercise titled Creating Item Renders for Sparkless Components.